Newport Beach. We came to interview Ann Tyler, who I met, what, three years ago at the Hopestone Gala because you were DJ. Yeah. So, start from the beginning. You were at Houston Ballet. So, go yes. from there. So, I was in Houston for seven years uh, in the academy and then the company. Uh-huh. And then I went on to Atlanta Ballet where I had a long career as well, another seven years there. And um, during that time, I began DJing. And what made you want to DJ? Um, I just really loved the music, and I was always out dancing. And I collected music like a fiend. And um, DJ friends just said, "You really need to learn how to mix because you have great music that you've been collecting." So. And there weren't many women DJs at the time. There really weren't. Um, I knew of a couple in Houston, but once I moved to Atlanta. Um, I was pretty pretty much one of the only ones. There were maybe a couple of others, but so I started doing a lot of DJ gigs in Atlanta just for extra fun money, and uh, it kind of became a bigger thing than I ever expected. And soon I was playing big parties, large scale events, and um, going to Ibiza in the summers, playing at Club Amnesia. You went to Ibiza in the yes. summers. <laughs> Were there many women there DJing? I was the only female DJ Is at Club like Amnesia. Weird or great? Um, well, it's it's one of those things, you know. It was kind of bittersweet. Uh -huh. um, people were excited about me being there, especially the the party goers. Um, but there was a lot of you know kind of stuff that I had to deal with from all the other men DJs, the resident DJs. Yeah. They were a little jealous, like, who's this woman Who coming up this? trying yeah. to take our jobs? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> but um, it was it was a really interesting experience. So then you came to LA. Uh, then I came to LA. Yeah, I was um, being brought. I was being flown out to LA to DJ. So that's kind of what put the bee in my bonnet. And then I came out here and have been here for about gosh, like five years or almost six now. Uh -huh. It's flying. Time's flying. And you've done some acting and modeling as well. I've done a lot of modeling and acting. I did a couple films and some television things. And, Modeling, currently modeling footwear and um, hair modeling and other random things. I was so shocked when you told me you were doing foot modeling. I know. You're a former ballerina. <laughs> and your feet are it's, beautiful. Oh They're my supposed gosh. to look terrible. Well, it's really ironic, isn't it? It um, is. And they did look terrible when I retired, but <laughs> I've had a lot of pedicures since I then. I the name of your pedicure <laughs> person. Yeah. So, um, what brought you from L.A. to beautiful Newport Beach, which we shot all day. Oh. That's why I look like this, because we just got in from the beach. <laughs> yeah. You still look great. Oh, wind blown. But, um, well, I came to Newport. Um, LA was starting to get a little intense for me, and I knew that I needed to go to some place where I could spend more time in nature and really do a lot of deeply internal work. So um, I moved here and began my yoga teacher training. So that was an extremely transformative for me and now I'm teaching yoga um, and meditation and dance as well. Tell everyone about the particular class workshop you've been doing. Uh, I've been doing several workshops where I fuse the workshops with meditation, yoga flow into ecstatic dance which is basically a guided improv experience in silence. That's so so great. Thank you. So what's the best piece of advice you've ever been given? Mm. Probably by my mom who said, kill them with kindness. Ah. I always think of that when something triggers me and I want to be like, ah, and I'm like, oh, you know what? That, that is the best revenge to just continue that really with an open heart. It sure does. When you kill them with kindness. <laughs> yeah. They don't know what to do. <laughs> Tell us something humorous about yourself. Oh, okay. Um, this is a kind of, I don't know if it's funny or sad or what, <laughs> but um, I cry a lot. You do. Yeah. Like when you're sad um, or happy or? Both. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a very sensitive person and uh, I'm very empathetic. So, you know, I do feel the weight of the world and uh, it affects me emotionally. But uh -huh. also just from uh, seeing like cute animal videos sometimes <laughs> or something touching, like an uh -huh. inspirational story. Um, and I'm not talking about bawling, but I definitely right, have my eyes water. Tears yeah. Your neck Thank you. There we go. Um, but yeah, it's kind of it's kind of hilarious, and and I quite often laugh until I'm crying as well. 
Oh, like, you see something wrong? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Maybe I have overactive tear glands or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. Do you have any irrational fears? Oh, yes. Um, I'm pretty sure all of my fears are irrational. I know one thing you're not scared of is climbing things, because I heard you <laughs> climb on things all day today, yeah. which you can see in the photo shoot. Oh, well, um, you know, my biggest irrational fear, which is literally probably considered a phobia, is snakes. Yeah. I am absolutely are there snakes terrified. Are there um, there are, you have to be careful for rattlesnakes in the canyon. I've never seen one, but uh, I'm always, when I'm hiking and stuff, I'm always kind of, yeah. you know, paranoid about That's it. That's not really irrational, though. I don't know anyone who likes well, snakes. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, I really love animals, and so it's kind of baffling to me why I have this deep-seated fear. Yeah. And I, it's something that I hope to overcome in my lifetime. Yeah. Really? I'm already kind of working towards it. Not saying that I'll ever, you know, hold a snake or something like that, but at least be able to see pictures without completely cringing without, and panicking. Yeah. Or yeah. a video or, or maybe one in real life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So what's on your plate for the immediate future? Um, well, I'm, I'm a big traveler. I love traveling. You just got back from Iceland. Yes, Iceland and Norway. It was to life changing. To teach yoga? Yes, oh, uh -huh. to teach. So, um, I'm, uh, you know, I love traveling and I hope that yoga will continue to allow me to do that. Um, I have some, a lot, lot of workshops coming up, like I said, um, and retreats are in the future. Yes. Um, I will be recording some fresh new mixes very soon. Oh, so really? Yeah, just keeping the DJ thing going Yay. a little bit. I like to play um, some of my mixes for my yoga classes, so. Wow. That's awesome. That's awesome. So you have beautiful skin. Share. Thank you. Oh some my tips. goodness. Um, lots of water. Uh -huh. I drink a lot of water. Um, it's pretty much the only beverage that I drink. Um, I mean, occasionally I'll have juice and um, maybe a little bit of tea, things like that. But um, lots of water and um, lots of sleep. I sleep about. I'm like a sloth. I I probably sleep nine or ten hours most oh, you night, most nights. Yeah. Um, I'm a big sleeper, and I, um, I'm a big believer in the power of positive thinking. And I think, um, and I'm a vegetarian, and I think that, you know, what you do for your insides yeah. comes out. Yeah. Um, of course, I have some beauty products that uh -huh. I think help, yeah. <laughs> help me. Anything, do you have a favorite? Um, gosh, well, I do use Retin-A. Um, yeah, that's at a good night, product. I do that. Um, I love argan oil for my face. Um, I use shea butter on my body, raw shea butter. Really? Yeah. Um, I like things that are really clean, like um, rose water and you know things that don't have a bunch of added chemicals and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't need to ask you about your workout routine because you mostly do yoga and dance. That's true, and yeah. I walk a lot as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's so. So, Anne, tell us about your company, Blossom... Blossom Body Awareness. Okay, tell us about that. Yeah, um, I started my company a few months ago, and I'm offering private one-on-one -on -one lessons in yoga, meditation, and movement as a healing therapy. So, um, I chose the name because I view the human experience, I view life as a flower opening yeah. um, into our fullest potential, and I've had a lot of amazing... Um, experiences in my life that have allowed me to really let go and trust in the process and now I want to share that with people. So do you have a website? Everyone can go to your website to check out. It's blossom.com B-L-O-S-S -S hyphen om <laughs> I love that. <laughs> dot com. So bloss-om dot com. And is it just in Newport Beach or? It's pretty much, I'm a, I'm an independent uh -huh. um, teacher, so I'm mostly in Southern California, but I also, um, when I travel to Atlanta, I offer private lessons, and I'm available to travel all over um, the world, in fact, so. Well, that's amazing. Well, thank you so much. We had the best photo shoot today. You did the best job. I thank love you. your pictures. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's a wrap. <laughs> Yay.